friends and welcome back to my channel so today we are back would never have i ever season one i hope you guys liked my reaction to episode one and two if you have not seen it yet please make sure to go check it out right up here it was a fun time i have seen the show in the past four years ago almost now so i don't remember much as you guys saw in my reaction to episode one and two so i'm super excited to just like keep it going davy's a lot but she's going through it so can't wait to see where we go with her i'm more excited just to finish season one to be honest because i know that this show probably gets super juicy if we have four seasons so yeah okay but anyways if you guys want to see my full reaction to these two episodes make sure to go check out my patreon it'll be linked down below i post my full uncut reaction up there and it's only five dollars a month if you're interested so make sure to go check that out and as i said in my last video if you guys want to see me outside of youtube please make sure to go follow my instagram that also will be linked below i am trying to go live at least once a week over there just to say hello maybe might not happen but you should still go follow me okay all right all right well let's get into never have i ever let's go I remember seeing this on TikTok and being like, what the fuck am I watching? <laughs> Wait, they kind of ate this up. Oh, okay. Doesn't she put like pants on her or something? Oh, a shirt. <laughs> Wait, but that's a cute little fit though. Oh, okay. The truth is Paxton and Davey were kind of nothing at the moment. Oh, I wouldn't say nothing. I think they're in cool terms. I wanted to post this thirst trap in the first place. <laughs> that was a thirst trap? I mean, you look hot, but thirst trap? Don't sweat it. Has he introduced you to his friends? Dude, why are we lying to our besties? Like, you got mad that Eleanor lied to you. Now you're gonna just fully lie about something like this? Okay, girl. Never have I ever gotten drunk with the popular kids. Okay. Finger down, everyone. I haven't. <laughs> Aw. This girl trauma like really so many things that happened to her about her dad like we need to talk to our therapist let's go inside and show this to your mom Ooh, we got one tomato see like things like that hurt her she needs to like learn how to cope with these feelings because they're they're a lot just for one day can we learn something that'll be on future ap test? <laughs> literally like what is this you want to be in my group oh oh whoa had he seen her sexy dance video and changed his mind? No, uh, I think he's gonna use her for grades. I'm calling it now. I might be right because maybe something in my brain is remembering that, but that's what I'm calling right now. Ben could be in our group. Mm, I'd prefer to work alone. I don't want anyone- Why does she do fall. that? Oh, she gets nervous. I got a shitload of Uncrossables in the freezer. Yo, that's nice. looking cool, bro. Smack the lip, whoop, drop down, snap, ah. And she's good at this stuff, so it's like a guaranteed day. See? That's why I asked her. See? I do remember that. Oh my God, what an asshole. Praxton, don't do that. And a life of shame that will disgrace me and my descendants for generations. I don't know about y'all, but I will pick the life of shame. Yeah, Fuck it. it. Is. <laughs> like, you'll have to take someone else to the 21 Pilots concert <gasps> at the Honda Center. Bitch, take me. I used to love 21 Pilots in high school. Oh my God. Travel halfway around the world to pursue her dreams would allow anyone to dictate who she can be with. Talk your shit, Steve. Oh, Kamala. Do what's right for you, babe. If your prom day cancels on you, you know where to find me. Okay, fucking creep. Ew. Ew. No. She could pick me up and throw me. Okay. Ew. People do not talk enough about women being predatorial to teenage boys. Like, ew. Can we stop? Then you can kill the not your gun bam war's over wow so, like, <laughs> i have a mind of a mastermind that's how he Should did transform? see i'm telling you i have the mind of a master master i have the mind of a mastermind what's that wow that bouncing's mad hypnotic yo <sighs> boys will be boys boys will be boys <laughs> fucking seeing red over here who had ice cream cones with sassy faces well she likes right, clear um, can I get little computers? Ah, that's no, cute. That's ugly. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, try something girly, like a flower. Oh, yeah, let's push the girliness onto somebody who clearly doesn't want to. Fabiola. <laughs> and hello to you, Gears Brosnan. She's so fucking cool. I love Fabiola. Which is why. I want to have a crush on Ben. He gets out of Ugh. gym because he has a personal trait. Even if she wasn't gay. Ew, okay, Ben. I and I feel bad because her mom genuinely like wants to be in her life, but she's just doing too much. 
Wait, he is human, right? <laughs> she had to clarify. That's funny. I'm sorry. No, babes, your daughter's gay, but she will come to terms with that and tell you whenever she feels like she's ready. Nah, oh, man, we're watching Riverdale. Oh, God, Riverdale. <laughs> we were just talking about this in my live stream the other day. Oh, gosh. I used to love Riverdale. Don't get me wrong, I did. And after season three, I was done. Girl, it's a murder mystery. It's freaking Dungeons and Dragon. It, it's a bunch of shit. <laughs> Get out of my dad's garden, you lousy coyote. Girl, don't play with them. Them shits are scary. She felt as if she'd met this coyote before. As if they understood Oh, it's so cute, but it can hurt you. Maybe. Okay, I got scared it was going to hurt her. Trent, did you do the logo? Oh my god, I'm not excited for this. <laughs> the B stands for bunker. <sighs> Oh, I'm tired, man. I'm tired, damn it. And for what it's worth, I did come up with a slogan. Thanks, guys. I fucking hated being in groups of people like this. It happened to me all the time. She's a smart one in the group. No, it was good, Paxton. No, it wasn't. Don't lie to him. Take... And Trent technically knew her. Then wasn't she invited? I, this I, yeah, was sure. <laughs> oh, God. She... I feel like I kind of remembered what happened at this party. And it's the fox, isn't it? Davey's no dork. She's a trailblazing Indian diva that marches to the beat of her own drummer. Period. You Last need Halloween friends like these. <laughs> you guys will just have to like what I make. Oh, he's annoying. Wow, Ben. I should get going, too. She does not I want like to be nails. in here with this her. This joint to a fundraiser for a queer youth center this weekend. <gasps> awesome. Should be cool if you're interested. She's so cute. Thought maybe. I think that you have the wrong idea about me. Listen, I get it. She's literally just coming to terms of like maybe she likes girls. Like she doesn't even know. So it's party. probably a lot. Do you mind going to the store and buying me a thong? Girl. What? <laughs> she doing too much. She doing too much. Not be buying you a techie ass. <laughs> no, Fine. literally. I'll just cut the cheeks out of my normal underwear. Whatever. What matters is, is that oh life God. is good Davey's now, too and I can much. basically forget about all that bad stuff that happened before. Process all this happened. To yeah, you. and that's why you Especially like put it in the back burner, and then it comes yeah. out, and then you burst. Right. He came to me as a coyote. Excuse me. Girl, if I was her therapist, I don't know how she's doing it. I don't know how she's doing it. It was just him. I mean, that happens. People see like butterflies, people see birds, and you know, it happens. People see their dead loved ones like that all the time. But she doing too much. I want you to talk to him. Tell him what you're feeling. Hmm? Girl, isn't this why she gets attacked by it? I'm pretty sure I remember that. <laughs> I love I remember this. I thought that we're watching, I'm watching a show inside a show. But I was gonna say about Davy is that strict parents make sneaky ass kids. You see how easy it was for her to lie to her mom? Mm hmm. What are you doing here? Should we get a calculator or something? She's here for the party. Love that bread soda. Bread Do soda. <laughs> she's yeah, so funny. You. I had your body at Cheetah Raid too. I'm so sorry. That was such a weird thing to oh say. Oh my gosh, she's sorry. hilarious. I love her. Like, she is weird, but in a, such an enduring way. Like, I'm weird. She's weird. I love her. Does she know anyone at this party? So awkward not to know anyone. Who wants some za? I, yo, why? This is the second thing I've watched where people call pizza za. What the fuck? What are you doing here? What are you, you doing here? That's the question. Um, I've basically been talking to Paxton all night, so I guess I'd say him. <laughs> oh, yeah? That Paxton? They're trying to outdo themselves. Oh but her neck is kind of busted. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Trying to find something bad about a hot girl. Paxton. Her neck is busted. <laughs> She's funny. Holy shit. There's a coyote on the lawn. Yeah, here we go. Girl, I don't think that's the same coyote. That's not the same coyote, girl. That shit is not the same coyote. That that ain't your daddy. You're here to cheer me up, right? Oh my god. <laughs> oh. That was like a straight up red riding hood, man. Is she good? Oh dead? shit. Oh, thanks, Praxton. Wait, what the heck? That's nice of him. Ben? Are you jealous? Ben likes me. I'm calling him now. They watch too much TV. <laughs> okay, so what is her mom gonna think? Tag yourself in it. Eh. I feel like they're gonna become good friends. You. So you don't think I'm crazy? No, actually. No, I think you're crazy. <laughs> in a good way. Sure, yeah, we'll go Wait, with that. Was, was this the moment Davy had been waiting for? Does she not know? Yeah, exactly. Platonic relationships happen. Like, but it's because she likes him. Tell me more, Doctor. Walking HPV infection. Get the oh my God, huh? yo, she's funny. I was just trying to be a normal teenager. 
Girl, I was not a normal teenager either. I didn't really drink or party or do anything. Sneaky parents. I mean, not sneaky parents. LOL. Sneaky kids. Great. What? Am I okay? What the fuck am I trying to say? I like blanked out. Strict parents create sneaky kids. Like I, I would definitely said a few little lies to my mom, but I never really went to parties because I also didn't get invited. <laughs> so get out of town, but don't go to Nagasaki. He clearly did all of this because the girls were just sitting there like, okay. So our group made an app called Bunker. Imagine oh, there you go. That's better. How do you find a safe place to hide so that you don't get exploded? <laughs> How do you find a place to hide? <laughs> so like, direct. Are they making fun of her? I don't get it. Oh, I, I guess not. Woo, I guess. What the heck? Hey, Eve. Oh, 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 she's not happy hey, with you. Fab. I think you need to find another woman to get yogurt with. That was a nice, easy way to let him down. Tiffany, you wanna go to yogurt? <laughs> Damn, he was, if we get enough samples, he's we quick. Can Yo, he said, okay, let me go find one real quick. <laughs> oh, it's her. I was like, who's nails? <laughs> That's why she's typing like Hello. that. Is she gonna ask out the girl uh, with the robot? Do I remember that or am I making that up? Her mom means so well, but oh my goodness. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. She's gonna have the robot say it. I'm gay. Oh, look how happy. She knows. It's okay. You'll come to terms with your sexuality and your individuality. It's hard, man. It's getting good. Again, I don't really remember much. So that's good for me and for y'all. <laughs> okay, it's getting a little juicy. We'll see because I'm calling it now. And I, this might not be a fair interpretation because I did watch season one. But, but I'm going to say that Ben likes her. That's why he's giving side eye a little bit. Praxton is just friends, but he's going to end up liking her and then she's gonna be stuck in like a who do I choose situation because I feel like we're always watching shows that has like a love triangle so that's what I'm gonna put out there now because I don't really remember if that's actually what happened but okay right into episode four let's go of course he had friend zoned her she thought a wild animal was her dad as much as no i don't think that's why her, she was a weird loser and a member no of the she's UN. not today, i hate that she thinks about herself like that gorge oh my god i love traditional outfits they're just like so beautiful from all cultures i just think they're so beautiful and mostly indian cultures like ah uh, just all the like all the layers and it just looks so beautiful i think it's awesome having a a culture that you're proud of. I think it's really cool. And this one's definitely a beautiful one for sure. Like what? That's beautiful. Wait, why are we staring? Oh, don't pull her like that. Jasmine? <laughs> no. Oh, she'd really love to put it on her Instagram. Why it's does so she have cultural. an Insta? Oh, I don't God, really feel at home no. right now. My She's just a little girl. She doesn't have to take fucking pictures for your like fucking that. kid. Girl, fuck them kids and fuck you too. Oh my God. I swear, white people see yeah, anything that. that isn't yeah, white, Ira. and they're like, oh, can I take a picture? <laughs> but it's not. This is Ganesh Puja, baby. That Ganesh shit looks Puja lit. Is He's not that useless after all. He runs the most exclusive college counseling company in LA. So, she's trying to get you to talk to him so you can get in. Oh, in Princeton. I feel like I'm back in the Life with the Walter voice. <laughs> Oh, this is nice though that they have a Hindu association. There must be a lot of um uh, Indian people living in the town that they live, which is awesome. Aunties are older Indian women who have no blood relationship to you, but are allowed to have We have those BS too. And, and they love to talk a lot of shit. It would be 5.1 set down sound. Popcorn machine coming. Okay. So, no need to be humble, babes. It was stage one. They got it early, removed his testicle, and now he's running the 10K. Thanks. Her husband died, you fucking asshole. Yes. Oh my god. So I had an Indian friend in high school and I went to his birthday party and they had like they were like dancing, like their traditional dancing, and I was so in awe because I just thought it was so fucking cool. Like this shit is awesome. So sometimes she felt a little out of place. I'm in her predicament too. Uh, here we Go. I talked about this in um in Ginny and Georgia how because Ginny was mixed here she doesn't feel Indian enough and I relate 
more to Davy than I guess I would Jenny in that sense because I'm Dominican, right? But I came to this country when I was eight. So I'm very American. Hello, hi, welcome. But of course, it's just weird being in like such a predicament when when you're with Americans or like white people, you're definitely not American enough or white enough. But then when you're with you know your other half of the other I feel so fucking like it's not even funny. So it's such a weird spot. Yeah, I feel like the only people that truly really do it is other people that are supposed to be the same thing. It just sucks, but yeah. Shut up! Are you insane? Tell me the truth. Did they send you home on medical leave? Oh, you're a teenager. You think all of this shit is stupid right now. You're gonna like it later on. But then he took me to their campus powwow. No one was standing in the corner making fun of it. They were dancing and- College changes a lot of things because you're also like no longer a teenager in your mindset. So a lot changes. I love being Indian. Real convincing. Yeah, I was just gonna say I that's so believable. He's the community spiritual leader and also really knows how to work a room. No. I mean, he has a whole mic, so I would hope so. An acceptance letter from the College of Her Dreams. I think she's gonna get into Princeton. We'll probably see that in season four. Maturing in certain areas of her body. Oh, she want boobs. I don't know why. They're not that great. She wanted something else. That's so sad. She wants her dad. Let's go inside. I heard Rupa got fat. Oh my God. Dude, dude, it's so toxic. Like, I'm not even gonna get into that. It's so toxic. College counselor Ron. Go get him, Davey. You got it, Davey? Yeah, she's also the lunch lady. So she's got a lot on her plate. Hmm. I just wanted to say how. Can you get off your phone, bro? Someone's trying to talk services. to you. I only got 28 kids into Ivy's last year, but I wanted 30. Oh, you we're so me. humble. But... So humble. I hate people like this. I got a perfect score on my PSAT. Great uh, segue. Girl, baby. I got the same score on my PSAT oh, well. and on my SAT. A 10 10. <laughs> Colleges want kids with unusual stories. Okay, but if she has the grades to get into an Ivy League, she should be able to. Not with this fucking story. You're the girl whose dad died in front of her at a concert and became paralyzed. I fucking knew it. Like, it's so stupid that you have to have this fucking traumatic ass story to get into a school or get scholarships. Or like, it's, I always thought that was so stupid. Can I just say, I understand why you know, having a very traumatic story or an interesting story would get you scholarships and into school, of course, because you've gone through stuff that probably a lot of people haven't gone through. So it makes your story special. I'm not undermining that, but I also think it's unfair for like, for example, for her, of course she has her own traumatic story, but even if that didn't happen, for her having great grades and being an AP and just doing all these things to get into an Ivy League, but then they won't take her because she doesn't have a traumatic story to tell, like that that's unfair to me. Yeah, I just think it's crazy. I feel like everyone should have an equal say or an equal part into getting into school. But you know, we live in the world that we do. So anyways, let's play. And my monthly payment is quite high. Well, she messed that oh, up, look, but that's okay. I need a break from these aunties. I need a break from the aunties. Can we go somewhere else? My Jeez, Jesus. <laughs> just remembering my tias that aren't really my tias. <laughs> I just listened to my family and married the guy that they chose. Yeah, but do you and think you would have been happy? Most? Good luck on your engagement. And uh, don't screw it up. Just because it didn't work for you doesn't mean it might not work for her. I don't know. She's in such a predicament right now. Oh my God. Baby, are you a good girl? What's going on? Okay. Oh. Davey? It's a weird Indian thing. Oh. Don't call it weird. weird it's cool. It. So is part of Ganesh Puja kicking lockers and anger? No. No, that's that just her. That you were joking. Yes, girl. No, Read I the just room. Got mad. You look cool in that outfit. She Did he does. Just say she looked good. Holy Thank shit. you. Maybe she was. That shit good. is awesome. She looks so pretty. Not that we need validation from a man, but I feel like she just needs a little push to feel a little better about herself. It would be my pleasure. Great. There's a beautiful fountain I've had. My <laughs> That's funny. It was like we were in a cannabis store. Thank you. You can buy it on my website. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> She's so funny. And you sure? 100%. Very much so fun to team. Mm, she didn't. Yo, <laughs> yo. She's like, why would you say that? They needed that. Look. Oh, that's it. Oh my god. Oh 
goes so fast. I forgot. These episodes are literally 30 minutes long. Oh, that was a that was a good episode. Okay, everyone. So that was Never Have I Ever episode three and four. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. I like, I mean, I knew I was gonna like this show, but it's just so interesting seeing things that I feel like I definitely forgot about and just also bringing up, you know, a lot of things that a lot of us could definitely relate to. So I'm glad that this show, even though of course it does it in like a funny way, it talks about some, you know, semi deep stuff. Like I said, a lot of people can relate to being kind of like stuck in the middle, not being American enough or not being black enough, Hispanic enough, Asian enough, whatever, like whatever other half you are so I definitely understand so anyways if you guys liked our reaction please make sure to leave a like down below and also make sure to subscribe to become part of the fam and to continue watching the show with me if you guys liked it as I said in the past video let me know once we finish season one if you want to see season two in two parts so I would be watching five episodes at a time and just upload two videos or if you just want me to watch it like this two videos at a time let me know what you guys want i'll do that but okay don't forget to go check out my patreon link below if you want to see my full reaction to these two episodes again you don't have to but it is linked down below and yeah i shall see you guys next time i love you guys so 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 much please take care of yourselves and i will see you next week bye